Welcome to the next episode of the Microbiology Tube. So today we will talking about the Coagulase test. So Coagulase test is one of the very common tests in the microbiology laboratory. So it is usually done to differentiate the Coagulase positive Staphylococcus aureus from the other Staphylococcus aureus. So let's introduce with the interaction first. So Coagulase test, as I have already told, it is used to differentiate Staphylococcus aureus, which produces the enzyme Coagulase. So, it is basically done to differentiate the Staphylococcus aureus from the other Staphylococcus species such as Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. So, in the medical uh, in the medical laboratory, if we isolate the Staphylococcus, so Staphylococcus aureus are the medically important uh, bacteria or it is, it is considered as the pathogenic bacteria, whereas the Staphylococcus epidermidis and Staphylococcus saprophyticus are not considered a, a, as a pathogenic or are considered as least pathogenic. So we have to differentiate whether the Staphylococcus aureus is in the sample or not if it is a gram positive cocci. So how will we separate? So we can separate the Staphylococcus aureus from rest of the Staphylococcus species by using or doing the test called as the Coagulase test. So what actually happens is that the Staphylococcus aureus is responsible for the productions of the enzyme which is called the Coagulase enzyme. So we have to know whether the bacteria produces the Coagulase enzymes or not. For it, we have to differentiate whether, whether the gram positive Cocci in cluster. So, if there is the gram positive cocci in cluster, it is considered as the Staphylococcus species, and we have to know whether this Staphylococcus produces the Coagulase enzymes or not. If it produces the Coagulase enzyme, it is a Staphylococcus aureus. So, we will be based on how the tests are done. We will be talking about what are the principle of the test. So firstly, coagulase enzymes is an uh, enzyme like protein, so which causes the plasma to clot by converting the fibrinose into the fibrin. So Staphylococcus aureus produces the two forms of the coagulase. One is the bond coagulase. So here the word bond means the, the coagulase enzymes is bound in the cell wall of the bacteria of the Staphylococcus aureus. So next is the free coagulase. The free coagulase are those co enzymes which are uh, which are the extracellular enzymes. So which are outside the body of the which, which are outside the cell of the Staphylococcus aureus. So these are called the free coagulase enzymes. So now let's talk about the Staphylococcus uh, sorry coagulase uh, test. So. In the coagulase test, what we actually we do is that in the coagulase test, so in the, the, the coagulase test can be divided into the slide coagulase and the tube coagulase. So in the slide coagulase, what actually we do is that we take the we take the saline. At first we take the saline, then after this is the saline water, normal saline. This is the normal saline, and here is also the normal saline, which is called the NS. So in the is two in in each uh, slide we put the normal saline. So after the normal saline, what we put as uh, after the normal saline we put the bacteria. So the test bacteria here also the test bacteria here also the test bacteria. Then after what we put in the test bacteria. So in the one slide we put the plasma. So the plasma can be the uh, human uh, plasma or the rabbit plasma. So we put the plasma and we mix it well. So we have to mix it. So after mixing, we should know whether there is the differences between these slides and the, this slide. So whether there is differences between the first slide and the second slide. So clumping appears at the second slide denotes the the in the presence of the bacteria is the coagulase positive bacteria which is the staphylococcus aureus so next method is the tube test method for the coagulase test so the first step for the tube test method is the is the preparations of the diluted plasma so diluted plasma can be prepared in the 1 is to 10 ratio so after the preparation of 1 is to 10 uh, ratio of the plasma in which one 
step one ratio one is the plasma and 10 is the normal saline so after we put the diluted plasma what actually we do we do the we take the three test tubes so we take the three test tubes so one test tube is labeled as the test next is labeled as p if it stands for the positive and last one is the negative one so in the is test tube what we do we put the 0.5 ml of the uh, diluted uh, plasma so we put the 0.5 ml of the diluted plasma so in the test in the test uh, tube in the test 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 tube uh, what we do we put the 0.1 ml of the culture broth which consists of the test organisms so which consists of the test organisms so in the positive we put the 0.1 ml of the culture broth which consists of the staphylococcus aureus in the uh, in the negative uh, test tube we put the 0.1 ml of the culture broth which is sterile so after we put the 0 0.5 uh, 0 0.1 ml of the culture broth then what we do what we do is we incubate it for one hours and observe uh, whether there is a clotting of the clotting or not so clotting so the temperature for incubation is 35 to 37 degrees centigrade so then after if we do not obtain any clotting we have to uh, we have to uh, like uh, incubate it again for the 30 minutes so we have to incubate it for every 30 minutes and look uh, uh, look whether there will be clotting or not for so for up to six hours up to six hours so what we have to do up to in six hours in every 30 minutes we have to look whether there is a clotting or not so if there is the clotting then it it, it says that the test organisms is the uh, is the Staphylococcus aureus or Coagulase uh, positive bacteria? So, so in this slide you can see the Staphylococcus aureus is the Coagulase positive bacteria. So other bacteria are also responsible for the peroxins of the Coagulase enzymes. So for the Coagulase negative organisms or the bacteria are the Staphylococcus epidermidis, Staphylococcus saprophyticus and other bacteria are the uh, staph uh, Coagulase negative bacteria. So this is all about the Coagulase uh, test. So if you really like my video, please don't forget to share, subscribe and like the video. Uh, thank you.